My name's David Ponting. I'm an architect and director at Ponting Fitzgerald Architects. Uh, I was the design lead on the Clifftop House. The Clifftop House is built in Ha Hay, which is a coastal holiday home community, pretty much, uh, on the Coromandel of New Zealand. It's a beautiful wide open bay looking out to the Mercury Islands. The clients came to us to create a, a wide, open space that would engage with this incredible outlook. An important part of the brief was to make sure that the family could have privacy on the property because they're effectively at the end of a valley. Uh, it's an unusual topography where they sit up on a ledge that a lot of other houses look at. So we had to consider the duality of the program, one, one to, to make the most of these outstanding views, the second to ensure that everyone wasn't looking at them from behind while they were trying to see the, see the sea. Upon arrival, you're channeled into a front arrival space which sits under the overhang of the upper floor box. And this, this is a purposeful move to restrict an understanding of where you are, remove you from the context, and lead you through a, a descriptive space that is, uh, has as little information as possible. It's a, it's a two-story black, black vertical volume. The skylight above allows light to wash down, creates a sense of space, but every, every understanding of where you are in the Coromandel is, is taken away. You move up through a mid-level landing which accesses the children's bedroom level and then head up again to the top floor. And from that moment on the top floor you're, um, you, you emerge out into what is effectively a large covered deck. And that really is the, the reason for this site being built on it. It's a remarkable space and that, that sensation that you, you're not so much in a house but you're inhabiting a cliff top on a social platform that's really the, the, the main design driver for the whole work. With the kitchen space, which is obviously vital to the living area working, we, we didn't want it to dominate and express itself as this, um, this glossy fabrication of, of residential living. We wanted to feel more relaxed than that. So to use dark American oak and express the grain, that allowed us to let this big space just sit back into the pocket a little bit. And, and therefore the, the environment dominates more than the elements of the building itself. The way we think about kitchens is to treat them as furniture elements, uh, built-in built -in cabinetry that happens to have function. The appliance choices needed to be considered very carefully. We didn't want the objects popping off this beautiful black oak wall. So Fisher and Paykel have put a bit of effort into making sure their products are discreet and they sit back and they allow the architecture to, to, to talk ahead of the elements within the architecture. Uh, a side of the master bedroom which has its own uh, sub-layer of filtering light with a, a cedar sliding screen that can really shut down the awareness of a bedroom tucked at one end, at the western end, uh, or it can be opened up to make the most of the view. In line with the coastal location, uh, the, the colour of sand tends, tends to dominate uh, the decisions that are made for integrating. And so cedar with a, a, a soft, sandy tone was brought into play. It evokes driftwood, and that's, that's what you find here. So it's always nice to build buildings out of what you'd expect to discover if you went for a wander down the beach. Uh, and along with that is, uh, is natural concrete. Once again, it's made of sand. The, just simply the expression of the rough board form finish on the concrete uh, was it was enough to impart a character to the building without trying too hard. The in situ concrete walls were used to hold the the natural hillside back. We were we were digging into the face of the cliff to some degree on the on the south side, and as we were burying ourselves into the ground, it's just it's so nice to express the mass of that site where we we've encroached it. I think this house plays with a connection to nature. And on one hand, it, uh, it takes nature away from you by the way you are ch you're channeled through such a, a dark space. Uh, uh, and I think that's a bit unexpected, but, uh, but by having that, uh, that restriction, that removal of your awareness of the sea and the sky and the trees, when you do come to the place where you re-engage, uh, the, the, the experience is amplified significantly. And in that regard, the the purpose of the building to embrace the bay is more apparent. Strangely enough, I, I really enjoy the view from down on the beach where really all you recognize is a canopy and uh, that canopy is, is quite discreet. It doesn't show itself 
to the wider community in a way that uh, speaks of a large home being there. It's a, it's a gentle imposition, a subtle imposition. At the same time, it creates a very large space to look out from. And I think that's a, that's a, a nice balance to have achieved.